Folks, welcome to BG Bus. Oh god, <laughs> look at his outfit today. We're watching more Bomb Vila. <laughs> yeah, look who's not putting in the foundation. Not Bob. Oh, that's where he keeps his piss. <laughs> That's a lot of piss. You must drink a lot of Kool-Aid. Oh, it's the ColecoVision intro. I missed this intro. Funded by BVTV and Sears. That's why, I <laughs> That's why it looks like shit. Let's learn a little bit more about this foundation system. Well, well, no, I'm learning one thing. Bob's not helping. And is on hand. And now let's get down the hall and meet him. Sure. I would laugh if he fell. Oh, it's not that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he almost did. Watch your step, Bob. Oh. I mean, these guys have only been working for 10 hours, and Bob can't make it down a couple steps. Oh, look at this guy. He makes fun of Tim Allen, but this idiot's a professional. He is a professional. Yeah, I wish they were all like that. At eating Subway. All the way around. The oh, look at those shoes. Those aren't working boots. I know, they're laser. like loafers. Yeah, and his a, pants are a little too tight. They're way too revealing. <laughs> that's how Fogel likes it. So that he just moves the receiver up and down to, uh, to get Aren't you exactly supposed to know this, Bob? Up and down uh, to the right height. And where would it be? That right on there. He's asking That's more questions than usual. And then what, what has to be done over in this section? Right here, we're just finishing up here. And we're going to tap the film. Was that one more? <laughs> that kind of needs to pay. He's irritated Wait, by sir, the questions uh, now. Oh, I'm sure I would have been irritated right by the first the two. Here. You refer to as your footing. Sure. And oh, I thought you said pudding. Boy, it's hard to believe this takes it the looks like pudding. It probably is. Well, you gotta realize that it's all steel reinforced. He went to the his nearest 7 Eleven and bought snack packs. This is the only time that I will ever agree with Bob Vila that that's not a thick enough footing for this foundation. Oh, but he wasn't told that. I mean, he, he, he was told that. your condensation, and etc. So all you need is a big truck and a big red crane. Okay, Dale. Uh, That's sure. all you need. That, it's not, ex <laughs> it's not wow. expensive equipment. Well, this I have one of those at home. We're gonna break Gosh, I'm going to go to Sears and pick one up. I can oh, put I it in my car. I have $200,000. <laughs> it is cool that it has the, the insulation built in, but I have a feeling that these things are not going to last a long time. This homeowner right, is going to so have plenty of water in his basement. basement. Like Thanks Bob's to Bob. Like Bob's show. In minutes, how did you come up with this idea? Well, I'm a builder, and we knew we'd need a dry basement. Yeah. So, uh, I did designed it. Did he uh, just say that he would like a dry... Uh, doesn't everybody go want go a dry the basement? basement? So you got the patent on it, right? Yeah. I don't know about you, and but mold buildup in my basement just... Kind of I, I want that. It's fun. It's like carpet. It is. It's an R5. And how did they, how do they get put together? They just pulled together. Oh my god. We use a uh, sealant that we put at the joints to seal all the moisture out. Well, Bob's oh, using his tube oh, semen. <laughs> it sold at Sears. That looks pretty good for the world's largest sandbox. <laughs> yeah, some now, kid would be very happy with this. this. Yeah. To, to kind of guarantee that you could have dry cellars. Um, Dry feller. Oh, very good, Bob. Do you notice how quick he said that just to sound smart? Well, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get together with Tom Florence and we're going to start talking about the septic system. A very unusual Oh, boy. Bob is. Oh, well, if this is like a John Goodman here, this is going to have to be a very big from the house. That's our septic tank. <laughs> I was right <laughs> about the piss. I knew it. Oh, look at how proud this guy is of his shit tank. This yellow submarine is something else. What's it made out of? It's made out of high density polyethylene. Oh, a pool! Can I swim in it? Well, if you like swimming in shit, 
Yeah. Well, I, I watched Bob Vila's show. <laughs> that <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? This is pretty bad, but watching Bob's show is worse. <laughs> I kind of like the taste. I get my leftovers from last night. <laughs> I wish Bob Vila would subscribe to our videos. We're doing him a favor on advertising the show. I know. People wouldn't watch it if it wasn't for us. <laughs> I mean, how bad? How? Let's be serious for a moment. We are making videos on his videos, and we're getting more views than he is. What does that say? Well, look what he's doing on the show. He's just making a mess. And this system is essentially that, but made out of... I noticed how the guy had to fill in his his loss for words. Can be installed by hand, pretty much. Want to give it a Not Bob's. Well, I see somebody's having some problems. <laughs> Mr. Construction doesn't have a whole lot of strength. <laughs> I wish they would put him inside. <laughs> look who's not. Look. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Look who's. Pretty easy installation. Look. Not much to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not much to it. Yeah. Ask those other guys. What's this? This is distribution box, which which allows the flow. Shouldn't you know this? A trench like that, or a double system, so that you can add on. We will Ooh, another pool, right? Yes. After we finish here, we have yes. to dig over on this side and put in the second one. So it's got an unconventional foundation system here. Is is there any difference in getting oh, started? Oh, don't freak <laughs> the <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Watch where you're walking. I told you he's making a mess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only real difference is um, the way that we attach it to the foundation. We're using screw bolts. Because it comes pre-drilled, the top of the foundation. That's right, and rather than carriage, but rather than uh, anchor bolts. Sure. Well, it, I'm glad he changed from carriage uh, to about anchor. These wood because <laughs> Bob would have asked me about weight. carriages. Yeah. And of course, they also <laughs> use less forest products. Was it all like a so horse and buggy? <laughs> you know, back in the day, they used a pumpkin. They're, uh, stronger <laughs> than your conventional. Uh, that was in, in Cinderella, Bob. Easy work of it, huh, Riley? Yeah, it's been a nice day. Yeah, it has been a good day. We're running out of time. Of course, it's a, of course it's a good day. It's another day that Bob doesn't have to work. Get put up in this house. It's a different type of wall system. We really will have the feeling of old cabins. We're also taking you on a trip to Walden Pond near Concord, Massachusetts. The retreat of the 19th century writer and philosopher Henry David Thoreau. Oh, we have to watch this. <laughs> yes. Oh, well. Christopher Gilbert's a prick. <laughs> What about Ruth? Oh, Ruth did the music. You know, there's a lot of bad companies here. <laughs> Sears. What's next? Shabby. A1 Games. A A1 Games. 95. Um, you know, that fat guy said that he was the inventor of those modular um, walls. But they don't look thick enough. <laughs> yeah, they don't. It looks like the water's going to go in very easily. And I just hope... That some poor lady isn't gonna buy that house. Probably and Bob's mom. I would laugh if it really was his mother's house. Oh, Bob, what's happening? Oh, I'm getting flooded. <laughs> oh, I can't swim. I can't swim. Please leave your comments as usual, folks.